everybody. We're going to the villages in Ocala, Florida. We have a big crowd. We're going to be talking about health care. We're doing a lot of work on health care. We're very successful at it. And so we're going to be speaking to the great people of Florida. And I think uh, they're very happy with the job we're, we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> What? What exactly? Well, if you look at the whistleblower's complaint, it's totally inaccurate because the conversation that I had was absolutely perfect, and most people that have read it say the same thing. The whistleblower never saw the, saw the conversation. He got his information, I guess, second or third hand. He wrote something that was total fiction, and now when people see that, they're not happy. <laughs> Well, we're looking at a lot of different things. China's coming in next week. We're going to have a meeting with them. We'll see. But we're doing very well. Some of the uh, the numbers, I think, are being affected by all of the nonsense, all of the politics going on in this country by the Democrats. I call them the do-nothings. They do nothing for this country. They don't care about this country. But uh, the numbers really are looking very good going into the future. So we'll see. I have a lot of options on China. But if they don't do what we want, we have tremendous, uh, tremendous power. What is that? Well, I would think that if they were honest about it, they'd start a major investigation into the Biden. It's a very simple answer. Uh, they should investigate the Biden because how does a company that's newly formed and all these companies, if you look at, and by the way, likewise. China should start an investigation into the Biden. Because what happened in China is just about as bad as what happened with, uh, with Ukraine. So I would say that President Zelensky, if it were me, I would recommend that they start an investigation into the Biden. Because nobody has any doubt that they weren't crooked. That was a crooked deal, 100 percent. He had no knowledge of energy didn't know the first thing about it. All of a sudden, he's getting $50,000 a month, plus a lot of other things. Nobody has any doubt. And they got rid of a prosecutor who was a very tough prosecutor. They got rid of him. Now they're trying to make it the opposite way, but they got rid. So if I were the president, I would certainly recommend that of you, Chris. I haven't, but uh, it's certainly something we can start thinking about, because I'm sure that President Xi does not like being under that, that kind of scrutiny, where billions of dollars is taken out of his country by a guy that just got kicked out of the Navy. He got kicked out of the Navy. All of a sudden, he's getting billions of dollars. You know what they call that? They call that a payoff. <laughs> Well, I leave that to the lawyers. I can say, though, that Schiff has now been proven to be a liar. We've known it for three years because they've been trying to impeach for three years. Uh, he's a liar. He's a stone cold liar. So I leave that to the lawyers. That's up to them to decide. But the whole investigation is crumbling. Yeah. I can. Yeah, I can. I can. He can't. I can't. Well, we have a real problem. We've been hitting the Taliban very, very hard. And as far as I'm concerned, they still haven't recovered from killing 12 people. One of happened to be a great American soldier from Puerto Rico. Uh, they still have not recovered, and they probably never will. No, but I read Mitch McConnell's statement yesterday, and he read my phone call. And as you know, he put out a statement that said that was the most innocent phone call he's read. And I spoke to him about it, too. He read my phone call with the president of Ukraine, Mitch McConnell. He said that was the most innocent phone call that I've read. I mean, 
give me a break. Anybody that reads it says the same thing. And the only people that don't understand it is when they look at the false, fabricated, fraudulent statement made by Shifty Shift. Well, I think Biden is uh, going down, and I think his whole situation, because now you may very well find that there are many other countries that they scam, just like they scammed China and Ukraine. And basically, who are they really scamming? The USA, and it's not good. And that's probably why China, for so many years, has had a sweetheart deal where China rips off the USA, because they deal like people with Biden, where they give the son a billion and a half dollars. And that's probably why China has such a sweetheart deal that for so many years they've been ripping off our country. Do you, do you, do you, support, do you support MD 206, the college athletes getting paid, or do you side with the NCAA, the schools, the music, this would be a federal law? We're looking at it. We're looking at it very closely. It's under study. <laughs> We'll see. They want to talk, and we'll be talking to them soon. We'll see. So I'm going to, uh, yes? Why did you recall the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine? Was she a problem? Why did you recall her? I heard very bad things about her. And I don't know if I recalled her or somebody recalled her, but I heard very, very bad things about her for a long period of time. Not good. Thank you. I'll see you in Florida. I'll see you all at lunch. Thank you.